Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, ETF. So this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos. And we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, we are up uh, roughly half a percent at the moment, trending just uh, above the 200 moving average and um, the, underneath the 100 moving average. If we manage to break above the 100 and 150, then we are most likely going to go back towards these previous signs. So that is to be seen whether or not we manage to do that. We are getting really close to the top of the bullish band, so a pullback towards the middle that could be expected. We're also getting to overbought conditions. Otherwise, technical indicators are very bullish. So break below the 50 here, that opens back the door back to the 300, a break above the 100 and 150, and then we are looking at much, much higher levels. So let's look at DBI. So DBI has completely turned around there, found massive support down here at the 100 moving average and is completely turning around now. So if we break above the 50 moving average again, then we are looking at these very highs here and that's a rally of roughly 6.5% to the upside. We were significantly overstretched and uh, we're up uh, more than 2% at this current stage. Technical indicators are still very bearish. Um, the MACD is... Um, MACD is a bearish, that's the CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic, while the RSI has turned around and now is just above oversold conditions. So it looks like we are going to at least test the 50 moving average, break below the 100, and then we'll drop back towards 150. So yes, a lot of really bad news last week that got this market really spooked, but it looks like um, people are ready to buy in at these uh, support levels. So IBT, sorry, VTI. Yes, so VTI has also found support where it usually finds support at the 50 moving average and the 40 exponential moving average. Has rallied 1.38% to the upside and uh, things are looking like they are going to turn around here. We could head another 0.79% to the upside. If that basically that level basically breaks, then we are looking at much, much higher levels. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the RSI is bullish, CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. While the, we are just above the middle of the bullish band, and uh, we'll probably run into resistance around 221. Breakdown from here, 50 moving average is still holding. If that breaks, then we are dropping probably significantly lower towards the 100 moving average at 210. So let's look at MCHI. So yes, um, it has been struggling. Um, it did break down towards uh, 79 and then we settled at 80. We are probably, we could drop towards the 300 moving average. That is the bearish scenario. Or we break above the these moving averages here which is a very tall order or we just build momentum go sideways until until we break out so there is not a lot of uh well you can say i would stay far away from this market to be fairly honest until we get a clear indication where this market basically goes to the upside or the downside i wouldn't i'm not going to touch this market at the moment macd is bearish, the RSI is bearish, and the CCI is also bearish, and so is the casting. We are significantly oversold in the RSI, and we are at the bottom of the bullish band. So, so it's not looking really good, but still, there's not a lot of room to the downside, as we're also at the bottom of the bullish band. So let's look at IBB. So we have rallied 1.41% to the upside, and it looks like we are going to target these previous highs again at 426. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is still bearish, the RSI is bullish, CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. Well, we have broken above the middle of the bullish band, and that could mean that we go to the top, and that's another move of 0.86% to the upside. And that's also where we'll target the previous highs here. Break above that. Then we're probably looking at the 440. Break below the 50, then we could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average, but that doesn't look like very likely at this point. We have broken down, for example, March towards the 100, but it has rallied significantly since then. We're still in a very nice upward trend here, and um, basically, Paul's likely is. 
um, people are going to buy it. So basically, they're buying the divs. So hope you found it helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.